Hello everyone, Awesome Andrew here with a short but exciting video for all of you today. We are going to talk about the artists who got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in this year of 2018. Three of the artists I picked got in, and I'm really excited to share it. I hope you're excited to hear it. So here we go. First up, Bon Jovi. I'm honestly surprised that Bon Jovi wasn't in there already, but they are now. Bon Jovi redefined the rock anthem by dominating arenas and captivating audiences with hooks that continue to define the decade. Despite personnel changes over the years, they have continued to follow their own instincts, ignoring obvious trends and providing a model for other bands and musicians just starting out on their careers. They have sold over 120 million albums. That's pretty impressive. The Cars Founded in Boston in 1976, they were a hook-savvy supercharged quintet that fused 60s pop, 70s glam, and avant rock minimalism. They had 13 top single hits across six studio albums, including four straight top 10 LPs. And although I don't at all see them as punk rock, they did help drive punk rock out of the underground firmly and forever into the American mainstream. Dire Straits Mixed with blues and a bit of country, they were one of the few rock bands to break out in an era of punk and disco. Their introspective lyrics with fantastic guitar and drum sounds made them one of the most original rock bands of the 80s. Dire Straits and later singer guitarist Mark Knopfler's solo career presented a music that never shied away from the complexities of the human relationship or the soaring guitar solos that give us the will to rise above such potentially divisive conflicts. The Moody Blues started in 1964 as an R&B-based band and scored their first hit single in the UK, Go Now, featuring guitarist Denny Lane on lead vocals. In 1966, they saw some personnel changes as well as a change in their sound. They recorded their most important album, Days of Future Past, which mixed symphonic orchestrations with the psychedelic rock band and is considered one of the very first progressive rock albums. This sound influenced an entire generation of musicians, including Yes and Genesis, to name a few. In 2013, a Rolling Stone reader poll listed Moody Blues as one of the top 10 bands that needed to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and finally, after all these years, they finally have. Nina Simone, her unapologetic rage and accusatory voice, named names and took no prisoners in the African-American struggle for equality in the early 1960s. Her triumphant voice saying what it meant to be a young, gifted, and black in a sometimes unjust and troubled world we live in. She has often been considered a jazz singer, particularly because of her masterful piano playing. She was classically trained, by the way. But yet her nickname was the High Priestess of Soul. Lastly, inducted under the Early Influencer category, Sister Rosetta Tharp. She was the first guitar heroine of rock and roll. She had a mastery of her trusty Gibson SG, which she wielded on a level that rivaled the best of her male contemporaries. She is considered one of the essential figures in the history of rock and roll. If she had not been there as a model and inspiration, then Elvis Presley, Little Richard, Johnny Cash, Jerry Lee Lewis, and other important pioneers of rock might have had different careers. I love this quote from the Rock Hall website that says, She is the founding mother who gave Rock's founding fathers the idea. End quote. The last few years have been really exciting for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with some important names coming in. The last few years, I've taken an artist who got inducted that year and talked about one of their albums in my next video. But what album will I pick and what artist will I pick? Find out next time on Awesome Albums. But until then, let's congratulate the artist who got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Congratulations, class of 2018.